everybody, or oh, welcome back to the ASMR YouTube channel. Now, I have a dog by my legs, and I've just been feeding her some ham. And if she growls at me or makes some funny noises, it's because she thinks there's more and there's not. She's lying back down again now, so that should be good. I got a comment the other day after I released my two football kit videos to have a look at the championship kits. So I'll be looking through all of the championship kits. We may have already seen one or two. I can't quite remember if we have in one of the other videos, but you know, we'll talk about them and see what I say. Um, this was, like I say, it was uploaded Saturday 25th of May. Some of them can be rumoured, like it says up here, leaked. Didn't mean to do that. Um, so they may have been different kits released, they may have been the same kits released or something different. I think we all understand the Huddersfield kit with the Paddy Power. It was just a stunt they got me. I fell for that. But it is a plain kit, so that should be on here anyway. So let's get into it. Let's just move this. There we go. First one, Barnsley. Now off the bat, we're starting huge. Let's yeah, let's do that. We're starting with a good kit. I really like this kit. The Puma logo in white, crest mainly white. Little trims on the arm, white. This white, beautiful. Red kit, nice. The dark red to give the brick impression. Like I say, I like patterned kits. So patterned kits, I like it. Um, but this really fits in with the, obviously, the investment room, I assume, is like a building agency or, you know, like a, like a brick laying company, people that come and design your house, etc. Suits the kit really well. And I must say, I really, really like it. With the other kits, if you remember me saying, you can tell when the sleeves are they've been, like, pinned and sewn on. You can tell with this, but it's a lot more subtle, which is good. So that's the, that's the home kit. Uh, maybe they do have away kits. I'll have to review some more in the future. The Birmingham kit. Now, I don't like Birmingham as a club. It's just one of them, one of them clubs where I'm like... Doesn't really mean anything to me, so yeah. Now, off the bat, we've gone the complete opposite direction. I really don't like this kit. I think there's a little bit too much going on. One, I do like Adidas kits. Usually, I like the blue and the white from the Birmingham. Works well. I don't like this this yellow. Now, do you know when it comes to like the Chelsea kits, and you might be like, "Oh, you're a Chelsea fan, you've had yellow trim." For some reason, it works with the way that they looked, because they you either need to go with the yellow trim, with the white, or this dark blue, and the white. The blue kit as a whole looks really nice. The yellow, I'm not too fussed on. As long as you also have this either yellow or the same colour as this or white. But they've got, again they've gone four colours and that's never a good never a sort of a good thing. I don't know, there's just something about it. I can't I don't like it. They're awake kit, however. That's just the you know, the old Germany one and the uh, Leicester one, put in black and white. Again, I'm a big advocate of this. I do like it. It is nice and clean. It is nice and fresh. I, I want fresh in the sense that it looks clean and clean cut. Obviously, it's not fresh because other teams have got it. But why keep the blue badge? We've seen it in so many kits where they've changed that to black and white to match the kit it's on. Why not just do that again? Because now you've got this really really nice black and white or grey and white with the black lines that go across it looks really sleek and then you've just got this random bit of blue badge on it doesn't make sense to me Blackburn's kit now my manager at work is a big Blackburn fan has been for a while and typically I've said the Umbro, the Umbro kits this year have been shit just absolute wank however I think they've done something amazing with this kit. The Blackburn Rovers blue usually can be a little bit darker. However, they've done it really nicely to have this light looking blue because I think the dark blue and white clashes too much with other kits that they've got. And it's not often you see like a lighter sky blue with white. But I think it 
goes really well. You've got like the opposite, like blue, and then the left hand side is the blue sleeve, and then the left hand side, like chest and body, is white, whereas the right hand sleeve is white. Uh, matches the Blackburn badge, and then I think the sort of things that make this good are the fact that you've got like this accent in this, the red, and they've just added a little bit to the arms to make it look a bit more fancy, and I think that works wonderfully. I just I just don't like the Umbro badge, I think. I think there's just something about it. They're away kit. I haven't seen this, but fuck me, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I can't believe it. Right, this is what I'm saying. This is why this is perfect. For a number of reasons. One, you've got sort of like the white and grey scaled kits. They seem to be a little bit popular this year. But at the same time, when it's done well, it's done really well. Umbro have liked their patterns, and they've done really well with this. Oh, I see what they've done. They've cut bits of the Umbro sign-off look, so that you've got the diagonal from the side. You've got the weird bit, which is like the top bit, but turned sideways, and just put on. I kind of like it. It sort of blends in. But sticking in fashion with this kit, look, they've gone like half and half. With the white sleeves, looks really good. To top it off... They've gone with the nicest shade of sort of greeny turquoise. Just to add a little bit in. Just to give it a pop of colour. I like it. I like it a lot. Brentford. It's just a shit kit in it. It's just not very nice to look at. It's so basic. And again, Umbro seem to be doing this. This is the only kit. But they've done it really well for Blackbird Rovers. They haven't done it well for Brentford. <laughs> I know, you've got to stick to the red and white. It's pretty obvious. It's their colours. You could have had a bit of a yellow trim. Why Why make these black? Why don't pop a bit of yellow on it instead? Okay, no, yellow would look disgusting, wouldn't it? But, you've got your three stripes. It's just a very basic bit of shit. And I've, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of stripes. They're all... See what I mean? Add the bit of the yellow... Oh no, something they mentioned is they've blacked out or grey scaled out this Blackburn Rovers, which I kind of like. Do you know what I would like? And I know this is being a bit picky with this. Do you know, as we saw the accented red with the red rose, I'd like to see because they've accented these green, just change that top of that to green. Just change the rose bud to a green. Or whatever the flower, or whatever plant or flower is. With this, we can see the same. They've gone for the black and yellow. Everything's now changed to yellow. Why don't change the eco to red to match the colour of the kits instead of this weird green? Here you've got the black and yellow. They've changed the patch to black and yellow. And it just works. It works very well. Bristol. Uh, they're awake. Wait, what? So we've only got Bristol's awake. It. What about the home kit? Let's Let's Google this. So it's been released, I assume. 18, oh no, it's the 18 to 19. There we go. Um, let's just go, oh, let's see if we can actually go on it. There we go. Uh, can't quite see it too well, but from the looks of things, I like it. Nice, plain, simple, or oh, one colour. I can get behind that. Nice little white bits of trim there to match the badge. And you can't really get wrong with that. Two colours is okay as long as it's nice and plain and nice and simple. Easy as you like. What about their away kit? Let's see if we can get a nice look at the away kit. Weird bottom colour though. I do. 
knows this. Anyway, so this one, I assume it's by the same people. It looks exactly the same. Just with black and white. I do like it. I don't mind the badge being a different colour. Because it shows that the badge stands out from the rest of the shirt. Especially when there is only two colours on it in the first place. Um, if it was a, if it wasn't white, I'd change the badge to the colour of everything else. But because it's white, black and white sort of go together anyway. And then you've got a nice red badge. The goalkeeper kit looks fucking dreadful. That looks like I'm tripping. So that's not even their away kit. That's 18, 19, I want. 19, 20. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, I don't know. It looks a bit nicer once the players are wearing it. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm a bit in two minds about this. That's quite nice. work the pattern works well and 
they have, like I say, sometimes less is more. The less sort of stuff they try to do to this, the less possessed they try to add, the better. And it works kind of well. Goalkeeper kit, bag of wank, we've seen this before. That's disgusting. The colour scheme's minging, the pattern's disgusting. Let's move on. Grey scaled out, I think that genuinely might be even worse. I, mean, I know many people look at it and think, actually, it's not as bad as the green one. I still think that lack of effort, lack of planning, why don't you just match the why don't you match this pattern up? Or this pattern up? Go for the same pattern arms. But in like a different colour, that's disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Fulham, usually a team that I'm not a big fan of. However, this kit's lovely. Again, simplistic. You've got just plain white. Works really well. You know, Fulham are typically black and white with the red logo. Nice red trim. I'd like to have seen this bottom bit be red. You know, just because I think maybe it's a bit too plain. I think this look, this is missing a little bit here. Like it just gets boring from here down. So here just needs to be maybe a red strip. Keep that white. I like that. I like the sleeve short, nice and white. I'm hoping that the that do you know when like it's got the name and the number on the back. So it's like a nine on the back and someone's name. I hope they print that in red and not black because that would work really well. Ooh, what a kit. Oh, that's filthy. I love it. Oh, I don't know why I like this so much. Oh, this is about this I love. Right. Red kits. Never a, well, I say I'm never a fan. I've actually been a fan of quite a lot, haven't I? But, and again, striped kits. I'm not usually a fan. But they've done this in the correct way. They've kept red nice and simple they haven't tried to do too much they've added stripes in but then striped the stripes and then re-striped the stripes there's triple snap triple snaps triple stripes and it works so nicely the color scheme goes well you've got red then you've got a lighter red and a darker red beautiful the kit sponsor works i'm glad that i'm glad that they've stuck that gold on there it stops it being a little bit odd I think that helps break up the three different colours of red really well. Normal badge, Adidas logo in the middle. Works really well. I like it. Goalkeeper kit. Again, we've seen this. I think it was on that, the Man United kit and one of the other kits. Just the mountainous background. The colour scheme's actually really nice because I think the orange will go with both kits here. Yeah, it will go with both kits and it will work really well. Nice bright colour. Let them know you're a goalkeeper. Easy job done. What is the town? This looks super retro. And you know what? The one thing I don't like about it, right? Because I do like it. There's no sponsorship as opposed to that massive Paddy Power sign that they had advertised originally. They've gone with the remove kit sponsors, let the fans have the kits, whatever the slogan is. The one thing I don't like about it is that fucking Umbro logo. Oh, I hate it. I don't know why I don't like it, but as I say, I don't usually like stripes, but when I've seen the players wearing this now that it's been advertised, I kind of do like it. Nice, plain, simple. The thing is, I think the Umbro logo is too small because I've had to try and fit it in this one line, whereas this is massive because it fits perfectly the size it is. Yes, it looks retro. Yes, many people have come to enjoy it, but this just, I think the proportions of things are wrong. Away kit. Oh, that's filthy. Oh. No sponsor. Big fan. Nice, clean cut. Nice, like I said, nice and simple. Just a blue kit. They've recolored the badge. That looks nice. The Umbro looks nice now that it's not been squashed in or just placed at an odd sort of place. It just works and I like that a lot. Hull City. Hull. Hull City. I have problems saying the word Hull because I had to go Hull and I miss out the H I go Hull and I miss out the double L. Anyway, Hull City. Straight off the bat is by Umbro. You know it's going to be a bit strange. They've, pat they've patterned half the shirt yet again. Not done the sleeves. Not done anything with the rest. 
the color scheme I'm a big fan of. I like how the actual background, the orange, is sort of like a dark orange, light orange, dark orange, and it sort of just blends in really well. The things I don't like about, again, no pattern sleeves. Why, why, why is the only thing that's white on the kit? The logo, the Umbra logo. Yes, there's bits in the, like, the actual horse is badge and logo. But why is the only thing on the kit? I think it just looks stupid. It's just so it doesn't get lost in this stripe, isn't it? Fucking outrageous. I don't like it. Throw away kit. That's similar to the Derby one, isn't it? See, this is where it's done wrong. And I say that because it's got they've gone black and white, which is fine to do. I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm not, I'm not opposed to that. But they've kept this weird orange trim here. here. Nothing else is orange. So it's got the tiniest bit of orange on the kit, and they've kept an orange badge. Strange. And then the sh shit is gold. The fact that we're going to see this goalkeeper kit so much infuriates me because it's fucking grim. Leeds home kit. I don't like Leeds, and I want to buy that. <laughs> That's so nice. What I like. This took with the old Leeds badge. Because I know some of the fans didn't like the new one that they'd um, uh, brought out, was it last year or the year before? Kappa for me have been one of those, it's similar to Umbro. I've sort of seen it and I've steered away from it, but they've done a good job here. The colour of this silver, not quite grey, it is more silver, is beautiful. Because, as we know, the Leeds United logo is predominantly golden. They've had this 100 years anniversary kit, is to say 100 years. Yeah, Centenary Home Kit. What it does, and I think it does this really well, is you've got a white kit, nice and plain, nothing to look at. Silver, 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 silver. Everything comes second to the badge, which is gold, first. You know what I mean? I think it does that really well. Goalkeeper Kit. That's fucking grim. different sponsor for the away kit. Bit strange. What I do like, I like the colour scheme, I do. I don't like this checkered pattern, because I'm not sure what it is. I know this says the hat has pattern, the hat has checkered flag. Why do they need a checkered flag? It's football, not racing. Might as well just have a big football. Is this meant to say a kit or is this meant to say third kit? 
because we've got a home kit and two away kits. I assume one of them is a third kit. Users call us from the first ever home kit. It features a 135 year logo solely print on the back of the shirt. Well, how do you know that? I can't fucking see it, can I? Anyway, what I do like, I like the bluey black. I've already said that. I like the white that goes with it. I don't like this pink. don't like this bluey purple. I think this could be... I think this could be made better with maybe a not a yellow, maybe an orange. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. There's something about this I don't like. I don't like the fact it's checkered, but bits of the checkers are missing. It's not good. It just seems a bit a shit to me, if you know what I mean. Regardless, it's some people will like it because it will mean something. I assume that the checkered pattern is something to do with the club rather than Puma or anything. I'll have to Google that, I'm not Googling it now, but anyway. Looks okay. Middlesbrough, that's wank. That looks like a that looks like a golfing top. That looks like something I, I would buy if I went into like American golf. And some guy said, Hey, this is on offer for a fiver. It's quite an old kit. It's quite an old polo top, but do you want it and you can go golfing in it? And I'm like, yeah, why not? On the flip side, why have they done that? It's got, I don't like the stripes here, I don't like the shoulders, so you can see them. And the pattern doesn't go onto the shoulders, I don't like this. I like. I don't like the colour scheme and I'll tell you why. Why is this red a different colour to that red? Why? Why does it go dark red, red, light red, white, black? It just seems strange. Similarly, this would look so, so good if that was red and that was black. But why have they made it blue? This looks like a Tommy Hill figure top. And I can't tell whether that's meant to be blue or black. It looks quite black. That looks like some and why 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 have they gone for the silver chevrons again? I don't like it, I don't like it at all. There's just so much going on that shouldn't be going on. Jesus Christ. Mill. Mill. Let's see what they've gone for. Nice classic design. Blue and white. Added pattern on the sleeves. Big fan. Kind of like it, you know, quite basic. You've got sort of this arrow chevron thing in the logo. I, they've carried that on with the collar. Looks kind of nice. Whiskey chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I do like it. They're awake here. trying so hard to keep my cool come on what is that that is the most minging shade of yellow i've ever seen mixed with the minging shade of cream and the most look it doesn't even match look that's like a different color to the rest of the kit uh. optical pattern in vertical stripes tone on tone shaded in the inside in other words you've just that whole sentence is just someone's flip for a dictionary. It's characterised by an optical pattern in vertical stripes, tone on tone, shaded in the inside. Disgusting, absolutely fucking, it looks like mustard. It looks like, no, it looks like a block of butter. I just want to go slice it on some toast. Jesus Christ. Not even for its own kit, no, I haven't seen this. <coughs> if you guys know. Uh, I, I come from Nottingham. I actually come from Derby originally, but I was a big Nottingham Forest fan growing up. And less so nowadays. I know I say fan, and I know you can call me whatever you want. Plastic fan, this, that, the other, glory supporter. But I'm not from the era where Forest were the best club in the world. And so for me, that's why I'm a big Chelsea supporter. I prefer Chelsea for any other team. But Forest is sort of like my home and local team, you know what I mean? One of those where, where I'm from, it's like just put Dobby or Forest. There's no in between. So for me, the answer for that would be Forest. Although I don't have this huge rivalry with Dobby that many people do. And I I respect that rivalry. I'm going to get into this because why not? I respect the rivalry because I know it's there. And I know many older fans and older generation, even young fans, love that aspect of the game. Personally... 
I've got family, friends, and many people that I've met that are big fans of Derby. I don't hate Derby. You know what I mean? I, I want to see them succeed as much as I want to see us succeed. Because if one of us is much, much better than the other, the rivalry stops. It stops becoming a thing. You know, you've got the Rangers and Celtic rivalry. That's probably solidified. It was going to get much better now that Rangers and Celtic are both improving at the same rate. Now that Rangers are investing in players again and getting much players, that rivalry is going to be huge. You know, Inter Milan, AC Milan, huge rivalry because they're both the same sort of position. Forest and Derby over the years have sort of slacked and it's died down a little bit. But that being said, I went off on a tangent. Don't hate me for not hating the other team. But I want to see us both succeed. So, this kit, absolutely gorgeous. Tempted to actually go out and buy this. I love the two-tone red. You know I do. You've got light red, dark red, burgundy red. With the white. Nice, simple. Added pattern. Looks beautiful. Sleeves look nice. Everything looks good. Nothing wrong with this. The diamonds work perfectly. Because you've got stripes going down. But they're actually like... Diamond pattern. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Away kit. That's grim. Oh, Forrest, why have you done this? I'd prefer it if the whole kit was just this blue, like dark blue colour. Nice dark blue. White and red trim. Maybe a red badge. That'd look nice. Because we've always had this white tree with two stars above it. I'd prefer to see that red on like a blue kit. A nice white, everything else. I think it'd look really nice. Maybe not red, maybe keep it white. Other than that, not a big fan. I don't like the two tone blue, dark blue, light blue. Anyway, Preston North End. That looks like a shit Spurs kit. Why, why, why? Right, it could just be the way he stood. But why do the shoulders start here, but then come like past his arm? But it's like the shoulders have gone like from up here. That That's not. Right on this t-shirt that I'm wearing, look, where is it this side? You can see, shoulder bit starts like there and goes down. Not here and goes down. That looks that looks ridiculous. It looks like someone was wearing a tank top and you've added sleeves to it. Or at some point you can just rip the sleeves off and run around in a tank top. If, if he scores and celebrates, he can just become an absolute nutter. That said, I like the colour schemes. I like the dark blue and the white and, the white, and then the red logo. I like it. This is how you do a yellow kit. This is perfect. Nice yellow, a nice vibrant sort of orangey yellow, not a minging mustard colour wherever it is. That's the wrong shade of yellow you use. You use this colour, an orangey yellow, nice light blue to go along with the colour of the club. Blue, 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 blue. Then it's perfect, you only need the two colours. Third kit, oh Preston, what have you done? At no point did Preston North End need a green and yellow kit. You know, they're a blue club. They could have gone with black or white. And they've chosen green and yellow. The two most disgusting colours, I think. <laughs> right, look at this. <coughs> okay, so they had this a similar kit last year, so look... Although at first glance it looks identical to last season's shirt, the Preston North End away football shirt is based on a new template and features blue logos instead of black. Like I said, the blue works really well. Third kit. Supporters who have pre-ordered and prepaid for the red kit option will be given a full refund. That's fucking disgusting. Oh wait, what? Would they supposed to have a red kit? Let's have a look. Preston North End. Red kit. Wow. Since we announced the cl club's kit colours for the forthcoming season, we have had a significant number of our supporters expressing disquiet about the fact we have indicated a change of our second, third kit option from yellow to red. They pointed out that we had changed sponsor three times in the previous three years, and for once our principal sponsors, 32 Red, were to remain on the front of shirts in the incoming season. It was felt in these circumstances that it was both expensive and unfair for us to make last season's yellow kit option obsolete. Having listened to our supporters' concerns, we have agreed to continue with the yellow away kit for the upcoming season in addition to the green kit. 
Oh, so the would have had a red kit, and those that pre-ordered it got a refund, and then they've changed this as like a third kit. I suppose I understand where you're coming from. I still think that was disgusting. Anyway, I thought that was a dig at the fact that anyone that's ordered it got a refund because it's disgusting. Anyway, but it's not. Keep it off. What do I like and what don't I like? What? In fact, actually, this looks like a very, very, very old polo top that my dad gave me as a kid when we went golfing once and I needed like an actual polo top and I didn't have one. So my dad was out here borrowing mine and it was far too big for me and it looked exactly like this. That's probably why I don't like it because I didn't like that top. That being said, I don't mind the blue and white horizontal stripes. Not too bad. What I'd like to see was the letters QPR in gold to match the gold trim that they've added. Royal pattern and this bit gold as well. I think that'd look nice. I, I don't think the black really works with the blue and white. Either that or make this black as well. Don't add the weird bits of gold to it. Awake it. In theory, a nice kit. You've gone for the gold badge. The gold logo. A weird colour of blue. I'd like to have seen this be like a really dark blue. Not a really light blue. Therefore, I don't like it. And the silver trim just really ruins the kit. Overall makes it minging. Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, again, this is strips done right. You've got your strips, but you've also got the correct colours. You've got dark blue and light blue in the middle, and they've pixelated it, which I think breaks down the fact that they've got stripes a little bit more, and I think it looks lovely. I don't like the gold logo. I, in fact, no, I do like the gold because it matches uh, Sheffield Wednesday's badge. I'm not a big fan of the shoulders. I'd prefer to have seen the shoulders like a whole colour of blue or, or just like a, that pixelated pattern on the shoulders. I think that would work really well. They're away kit. I like the style. I like the one plain colour pixelated from the bottom up. I don't like the colour. I'd prefer to have seen it a different colour than green. Stoke City. Literally the same kit they've had for years and years. Red and white stripes. And what I do like about the Stoke kit is that immediately I think of Stoke. Because it's in their badge. It's in their kits. And they never, ever, ever have changed. Well, it's just red and white stripes in it. They've always had that. So when I see other kits, I always tend to think of Stoke regardless. I like the blue. Blue logo here yeah, to match that. And I like the fact that the Bet365 logo is outlined red, but in white. So it sort of pops out a little bit more. I don't, I'm not sure about this. I don't think that the orange works with the black and the grey. I'd like to, maybe a pink. Pink would have been quite nice, because it would have been like a mashup of red and white. If you add white to red, you get pink. Make it pink. That would be the, your little ode to the white and redness, but on your awake it. That's fucking disgusting. That's far too bright for me. Jack Butland is going to look brilliant wearing that. I like the pattern. I just don't like how bright it is. And I don't like the fact that's white. If that was black, it maybe would break up the colour a little bit more. Swansea City. I don't like that. That is far too plain and basic. That looks like I could have made that as my Sunday League kit. The kit itself is disgusting. There's no, there's no pattern. There's no. Oh wait, it says with a subtle embossed camouflage pattern. Is that what this is? Down here, there's like some weird camouflage patterns. No, not for me, thank you. The black and white, pretty traditional. I don't like these sleeves. I don't like how there's like an under thing for the sleeves. Color looks strange. Overall, very, very, very basic and a bit shit. Their away kit reminds me of Chelsea's away kit. Was it in like 2008 or like 2011, something like that? I like it, just not a lot. I'm not a fan of these weird, like, they look like ladders. But it, like, this one fades up that way, that fades down. Fades up, fades down, fades up. Not a big fan. I like the colour scheme. 
just looks a little bit shit. I think these patches are in the wrong place as well, you know. It seems too, too squashed together. The goalkeeper kit, again, that's very nice. You've got nice pattern sleeves. You get a nice plain colour, but a different colour to the rest of your kits. A nice bold pink and a nice subtle grey. The grey works well with the blue. The pink works well with the purple. And it just works. goes together really well. West Bromwich Albion. So, for my Benjis and other people out there that support West Brom, you're going to love me because I like this kit. Not a fan of verticals, as you know. You know, West Brom, they've got it in their badge. It's always been their kit. They always have the vertical stripes. It's traditional. You're not going to change that. So at least make sure you do it correctly. What I like is the fact that they've identified the fact that sleeves are a bit of an issue with vertical kits because you can't make them vertical because it won't match up. What do you do? Do you make them plain? No, because then it accents this whole weird shoulder thing that is a bit odd. So what do you do? They've added all nice two-tone pattern. You've got your nice shade of blue, your perfect shade of white. You've made the sponsor a new this match. You've made the Puma stand out by adding a white trim around the outside to match the little bit of red. It's like an ode to the sponsors. Whatever it is, the kit makers, because many of you are fuming about the fact they're called this a kit sponsor and they're kit makers. It's this that's a sponsor doesn't make a difference. They've done this really well. I like the pattern sleeves. I just wish that this pattern would also come through here and these blue bits just so it all seemed a little bit more seamless. What about their away kit? Oh, West Brom, why? I think this is the one we looked at in the last episode. Oh, I want to throw up. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You've kept the red dot. You've got the horrible, absolutely disgusting. 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 Which one wanna use like a shit and not flush the toilet? <laughs> well, it was fucking one of yes. <laughs> Anyway, don't like the colour. Absolutely disgusting. Wigan. Wigan, Wigan, Wigan. Beautiful. But not for the right reasons. I like the blue. I like the thin stripes. I think it works well. I like the Puma logo and the way that the Wigan sort of sits on the chest. I don't like this weird green. This should either be white or black. Or a darker shade of blue, if this was like a dark blue to sort of match that colour. Just there and there. I think it'll look nice. And then last but not least, they're away kit. Oh, I think this is beautiful. That's one of the freshest and cleanest looking kits I've seen. We've got a nice, a nice shade of red. I can't tell whether that's black or dark blue. Either way, it looks nice and clean. Then you've got your big white logo that stands out. Works really well in this sort of like hexagonal cube, like 3D cube looking pattern. Looks perfect. I just don't like the awake at uh, the home kit. So that is all of this done. Uh, we've gone through all the championship lead kits. If any of them have changed, Leave a comment, just say, oh, just to let you know. Don't make it a like, for fuck's sake, don't do your research before the video, because Birmingham's is actually dark blue this season. Mate, I'm just using a website, and I'm doing this off the cuff, and it's really quick, and it's really easy for me to make. Just leave me a comment, saying, just to let you know, if you want to go check it out. They've actually changed a, a different kit, and they've gone with this instead. That was just a leak kit, you know what I mean? So just make it a nice comment, and just say, look, if you want to go check it out, this is what it actually is. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I shall see you later. Goodbye.